What's up guys, it's me here, back with another video, and, um, we are doing another showcase, so, right now, um, my mail day stuff is slow, as you guys know, I uh, slow down on buying just cause it's, stuff's expensive these days, especially eBay with their fees, um, so it just takes a while for cards to come in, but maybe I'm thinking before the card show next weekend, uh, if you're watching this video right now, um, yeah, oh yeah, by the way, there is a card show next weekend, so anybody in the uh, Chicago area or Wisconsin or Indiana, uh, Woodstock show, it's, should be, permitting the weather is good, should be a um, pretty packed show, so uh, definitely come out um, and check it out, yeah, so there, there's that, uh, but before that show, I'm hopefully going to do a mail day, otherwise, uh, I'm just filling in this time with these uh, Bulls recaps. Um, I mean, I'm glad you got some of you are enjoying it. Uh, I've got a lot of positive feedback on it so far. And it's an interesting time to be a Bulls fan. Uh, again, if you're watching this video right now, the Bulls are... They're not in a good place. Um, Markkanen is injured, Wendell Carter is injured, and Otto Porter Jr. is injured. So, yeah, it's... I mean, Levine's good, but we're losing those close games. Um, and the only reason I mention this is just because this recap, because uh, today I'll be showing Kobe White and Daniel Gafford stuff, so uh, things could change if you're watching this video a couple months from now or a couple weeks from now, who knows, but right now the Bulls are not in a great spot. Um, as you guys know, the last one was my marketing video, so make sure you guys go check that out. I did forget a few cards, and I'm probably forgetting a few in this video too, but I got 98% of all of them, uh, all the base rookies, or parallel Rookies, no hits though, no hits and no numbered, but we'll we'll get to that later. Um, yeah, I mean Kobe is probably the m most hated player on the team right now. I'm not gonna lie. Um, me, I'm just kind of frustrated with him, but I don't know. I, as a Bulls fan, um, I thought I'd mention just what's going on with the team. I've been hearing Lonzo Ball trade rumors. I'll uh, we'll figure out if that's going to happen, but uh. I don't know, Markkinen's kind of nearing that edge of being traded, and I'm really, really hoping that doesn't happen. Kind of for my sake of being a Markkinen fan and Chicago fan, but also <laughs> partly for the collection as well. Uh, yeah, really hope that doesn't happen. But, um, we're already three minutes into the video, so I'm gonna get started. Uh, yeah, Kobe White. So, a little background with Kobe White collecting. I actually didn't collect too heavy into his cards because they started off cheap, then the spike happened, and then for me, I wasn't used to his autos being around that $30 mark. They were going for, I think, a little bit less, so I didn't buy them. I should have bought them. Um, his silver prisms were like 10 bucks. Then all of a sudden he started getting some good games, and funny enough, I bought a majority of my Kobe cards as they were rising in value uh, when I should have bought them cheap. But, I mean, I, I got a lot of the Prism stuff that I'm about to show for a really, really nice price. Like, some of this Kobe stuff I got for a killer deal. Um, but, yeah, I mean, uh, also Gafford. Uh, don't want to keep talking, but I'll show the cards in a minute. Gafford I was uh, also pretty high on. And he, he showed some good signs this past, uh, or this year so far. It's just some games that you feel like he's not even there, too. But, um, yeah, here's the Kobe stuff. So, I'm going to start with this Prism, uh, one of my first Kobe cards I picked up. Uh, I bought that in a bulk set with a few other Prisms, which was turned out to be one of the best deals. Um, I got a Don Russ rookie, Class of 2019, uh, Prism Emergent. Uh, also, forgot to, sorry, forgot to mention, there's just a lot of news going on. Not in Bulls, but... Panini Hoops, 2020 to 2021 Panini Hoops released. Um, I have not gone looking out for boxes, nor am I going to buy any boxes, uh, which I know might be disappointing to some of you watching, but it's just too expensive. I mean, it... Yeah, I'll do this while I show some of these cards, some of them are Prism stuff, but... Um, it is pretty disappointing, since, I guess, uh, the inserts look really nice. Um, like... For hoops inserts, I think these are my uh, favorite out of the year, and it's it sucks that you know you go to Walmart and you're not able to buy any of them. 
Uh, if, just because there's no boxes, like the vanity plates look really cool. Um, got a lot more Prisma's stuff coming up, but uh, I mean, yeah, they, they, they look really, really nice. Uh, I mean, let me know your thoughts below. But hobby and retail looks cool. Normally, I would just say, oh, yeah, you know, uh, hobby inserts are better, but this time I think it's a tie because the Slam Magazine is probably my favorite insert set. Although they do go for a ton. But, yeah, I mean... Let me know your thoughts below. This is a pink luminance. Pretty cool. Um, Phoenix. A couple of mosaics. So, we'll see. I mean, that's why I'm, I'm... With this release and with football season winding down, I'm hoping... Ah, uh, my card show at least has some hoops inserts available. I'm sure somebody does, honestly. Uh, and disregard the price tags, I'm just too lazy to take them off. Got an instant impact. And, uh, ooh, this one is the Hollow Class 2019. Green Prism, one of the bigger ones, uh, in the collection. I know his stuff, Kobe's stuff has been down, but I'm not, honestly, for me it's not selling, uh, for the Bulls PC. I don't remember the last time I sold a marketing card. It's probably because... I had a flaw or something, but I, I don't think I've ever sold or traded any Kobe stuff either. The Donruss, Mosaic, another green prism. But, yeah, I mean, I'm hoping he gets back in the rhythm. I mean, it's there. It's He has that offensive power, but right now we need defense. If we can nail down that defense, we don't have to worry as much on the offensive end, because Levine's running the show pretty much. That was a winter, and then that was base. Uh, certified rookie. Donruss. Oh, this one is... You guys will probably agree with me on this. Pro if not the best insert, one of the best inserts from Hobby. Uh, across all products, there's these Net Marvels. Just the base, not the press proof, but really, really sick card. Love the comic book design. Hoping Donruss this year has it, too. That would be sweet. Oh, I forgot to mention, I have two of them, so even better. Really, really sweet insert. Select rookie. Another emergent. Oh, my bad. <laughs> I'm probably flexing this a little too much, but... Uh, one, two, three, three Net Marvels. Kobe cards. Yes, I love that set that much. Uh, no, I didn't pay an arm and a leg for him, but... I might have paid an arm and a leg for this one. I know there was a Kobe lot that some guy at the show was selling, and I know I, I paid a little bit more than I should have. This was a while back, so. Uh, I'm not too much in on the value of these. These are just mainly PC stuff, so. Um, yeah, only thing value-wise that I don't mind is if a player gets traded. Like, I, I was, as I said, I have a nagging feeling that Kobe or Lowry or Wendell Carter, anybody's gonna be on that trading block soon. Kobe Optic rookie. Um, but Great Expectations. Two pink pulsars from uh, Prism Draft Picks. And then this is the Hollow arriving now. Alright, we got a few more Kobe stuff and then we'll get on to Gafford. Gafford isn't as much just because there wasn't two. Like, he didn't have as big of a set with some of these cards as Kobe did. But the we got next. So, it's, I mean, with this Kobe card, uh, you guys probably know this by now, both stuff is cheap. It's, besides Levine rookies and maybe some Kobe's, um, majority of the bull stuff is cheap just because they're not doing well, and me being delusional person, I always think the bulls are, you know, gonna make that playoff spot. It, <laughs> but slowly you come to terms with it, this is the last Kobe card, I believe. Lock the lottery. Um, and as I said, I might be missing a few, but I'll show those at the end in case I find them. So, Alright, so that's Kobe stuff. Uh, as I was saying, wait, what was I saying? Shoot, I forgot. Um, I don't know, I'll think of it as I go on. But, um, oh yeah, yeah, with bulls. It's, uh, you know what? Oh yeah, delusional. Yeah. Being a Bulls fan is delusional this time of year. Just because you think the team is... And these are all uh, prison draft picks of Gafford. 
uh, you think the team is doing good and then it's like up and down. But if the Bulls win a game, uh, I'll top load the other stuff later. But if the Bulls win a game, they, like, I'm, I'm super pumped. I'm like, yeah, you know, we're going we're gonna to make the, the playoffs and things like that. But, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't want to say we won't, but also I have a lot of Gafford Prism rookies. I just realized that, like, way too many Gafford Prism rookies. Um, this is just a better look at it. Uh, but, again, I, I might be going through these really fast, but you guys get the point. Yes, it's Gafford. Yes, it's Prism. There you go. <laughs> I'm hoping, though, we win against the Pelicans tomorrow. Or, yeah, it's, this video might be released today. But, we, we really need these wins right now. Got an orange Prism draft picks. But, Pink Pulsar... It, the, the losses are really hurting us at the moment. And let me know if, if you guys want to hear my thoughts on the NBA. I know I don't talk about it as much. This is like a channel centered around basketball, but I mostly talk about cards and not what's going on in the NBA too much. So that's what I thought. To take a breather as we're nearing the midpoint of the season, um, I think. Just to, just to, you know, look at where we're at in terms of um, what's the team doing and how things are looking as far as playoff contention. Uh, but, oh, Red Prism. Red Wave. But, yep. Blue Velocity. A couple more Donruss Silver Prism draft picks. Concourse of uh, Select. Uh, hoops. Donruss. Uh, this is the this is one of the few Gaffords that I I was hesitant on just because obviously it's Gafford, not that, like amazing, but I, I think it'll be good. Um, I don't really buy these silver optic rookies, but I thought I'd it was cheap, so I thought I'd pull the trigger on it. Here's another one too, so two silvers. Um, yeah, I think that might be it for Gafford. So we're at 12 minutes, a little bit more I think than the other videos. Plus, I did combine two players, too. So, next up is going to be... My get my thought is, do Levine rookies. That should only take a few minutes. And then show my numbered stuff. And then save hits for the end. Um, or maybe do numbered Levine rookies and miscellaneous stuff. And then do hits at the end. Because hits are really, really nice, in my opinion. But, uh, that, yeah, that's the video. Let me know what you guys thought, both. Like, I don't know, like, <laughs> with, with the Kobe rookies, um, Gafford rookies, and just your thoughts on the Bulls or the NBA in general. Most of this was just, uh, well, let, me, let me get my thoughts of the Bulls off my back, um, since I haven't expressed it too much in my videos, but, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and, uh, see you in the next one. Peace.